Laravel comes with the blade templating engine, which helps us lay out and make our views very easy to maneuver around. The benefits of templating out your application is that we can stay very dry. We do not want to repeat ourselves when we are creating our views, since we don't want to repeat HTML in many different locations. This goes hand in hand with creating components that are reusable across many different areas. For instance, if we wanted a sidebar on the home page, and we wanted a sidebar on a contact page, we could use one view for both of those. Laravel's templating engine also lets us pass data throughout our application, whether it be user objects or different variables that we create on the fly. Now the main way to display data in PHP is to echo. This is how you would normally echo PHP, and this is how you would normally show data in Laravel templating. Blade tags are two curly braces on each side of the variable that you're trying to show. We could even do things like ternary statements, so we can check if a title is set, then display the title, or show my app. Blade also comes with some really helpful stuff, like showing a default value. While we could use PHP's echo, all throughout our views. It really helps to use Blade since it keeps our views very clean and it's very easy to see where data is getting echoed out to our users. Also, there is no advanced PHP logic in the view itself. So we're not going in and creating random variables inside of our views. That job is solely directed to the controllers. Manipulating data should not be done in the views and using Blade tags explicitly and only blade tags helps us make sure that we don't do any crazy logic in our views. This was a really big problem with WordPress development is that a lot of people would start using too much PHP inside of their views instead of just echoing out data. This goes hand in hand with the control structures. We only have if and for each and a couple other control structures so that we're just displaying data. Let's work with some of this blade templating that Laravel provides us. We'll create a new application, Laravel New Templating App. This will create our application, pull in composer dependencies, create our .env file, and create our application key for us. Now that our application is ready, we'll bring that into Sublime Text, subble.exe, templating app. Close one of those, hide the menu here. All right, here is our application. Full Laravel install, ready to go. We are going to start in app routes.php. And let's make sure that we start our Laravel application. We're going to use the built-in PHP server, CD templating app. Let's clear this and PHP artisan serve. Now we can open Chrome, visit that in our browser, localhost, 8000. And here is our Laravel install. This is the home page route that shows the normal welcome view. This view helper automatically looks in resources, views, and it shows the welcome.blade.php file. So this is a blade file, but don't worry about adding the extension here. Laravel already knows to do .blade.php. And this actually also works for .php files if you don't want to use blade. We're going to pass in some variables here. Let's create a title this is equal to my new app. We're going to create a user is equal to Chris. We can easily pass that in through our application using the view helper. Pass in an array as the second parameter of the view helper. We're going to pass in title is equal to the title we just created. And the user is the user we just created. We can open up welcome.blade.php, scroll down to where the content actually is in the body, and let's show the title we just created. And also the user we just created. Refresh that in Chrome. My new app and our user is displayed below it. We can simplify this further. Instead of passing in the full array, we'll just use the PHP helper compact 
title, user. And the same effect happens, both get passed through. We can display a default title. If no title gets passed in, in welcome.blade.php, we can do title or my default title. Since no title was passed in, we're showing my default title. So far, we've just displayed variables and passed variables through to our views. Next, we'll get into a little bit more of the power of Blade and we'll work with some templating to make our applications easy to read and scalable.